It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop ever until you are dead. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. I expected to be reviewing Superman Son of Kal-El from Tom Taylor today. But there are a few other things going on in this comic book, and I'll just put out front. I don't recommend this comic, and I'll get into some of the reasons why. I'm not going to do a full review, because I do want to give some of these issues a little bit more spotlight and give some more reasoning why I take issue with this, this issue of Superman, Son of Kal-El, and the characterization of John Kent and what he's doing as far as his mission moving forward. I, generally speaking, have been a fan of Tom Taylor's work at DC Comics. I think his stuff on Deceased is fantastic. His Nightwing has been pretty decent until this last retcon. Otherwise, you know, I, I didn't like the second issue, but otherwise, yeah, hey, Nightwing's been pretty good. He's also done some, um, you know, some Batman annuals that I was that I was a fan of. But his characterization and his uh, and his idea behind John Kent becoming Superman really gives you an idea of who Tom Taylor really is as a writer. It doesn't give you an idea who Tom, who John Ken is a, as a character. That's one of the big problems we're seeing in the comic book industry. And this is the origin story or the foundation setting of a tyrant is what we're getting in this comic book. Now, we have certainly seen versions of Clark Kent's Superman be tyrants, but not in continuity. Superman Red Sun which I personally think is a fantastic Elseworlds story. I do find it very disappointing when I see cer certain actors or writers say that Red Sud is the most influential Superman story they've ever read because it's not a Superman story. It's like a warning of what Superman could have been if he didn't land with Mom, Pa, Kent in Kansas. But people apparently don't understand that. He's also been portrayed as a tyrant, an agent of the government of sorts, in Batman, um, The Dark Knight Returns from Frank Miller, and then also in Justice, which is written by Tom Taylor, where Superman goes evil, decides to take over the world. And this is definitely the beginning of John Kent trying to kind of take over the world, because what Clark Kent as Superman has done as far as his mission and the way that he handles things in DC Comics is he saves people, but he does not try to save the world. He will help the innocent, but as far as he's as far as he's concerned, you know, governments get to make their decisions. People get to vote, and uh, the will of people stands. But he will not s stand for injustice against the innocent. Truth, justice in the American way. And you can see that John Kent is going to take a very different stance. And I, I do want to put this out right now. There's going to be a video up tomorrow. It was going to be Friday. I just recorded it with Doug Ernst and RJ from Fourth Age, where we touched on some of these topics. Inadvertently, I hadn't read this comic yet. And it's uh, it's so timely, and it, it, it really flows in with this, and I'm going to put it out first thing tomorrow because I think everyone needs to watch that as well. It's about an hour-long conversation. So it starts out talking about the death of heroes, you know, in modern culture, obviously we deviate course quite a bit, you know, the three of us talking for an hour, we cover a, a wide range of topics. But I think if you watch this review and then go watch that, you'll find some, 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 uh, bit more illuminating. Let's just put it that way. Right off the bat, Tom Taylor lets you know this this is a new Superman. This is his version of Superman. The title of the comic book is Truth, Justice in a Better World. We have certainly seen an attack on the American way for quite some time. When Truth, Justice, and the American Way was introduced into Superman lore, which was not in comic books, it was actually on um, on radio during uh, the Superman-like radio show, the American Way was added. The American Way, generally speaking, was like a synonym for freedom. And a lot of times when you see unrest, in countries to this day, and they start speaking about like America, generally speaking, they're talking about freedom. They want freedom. So Superman was the, you know, the, the hero of truth, justice, and freedom. Now it's he's truth, justice, and a better world. And when I read this initially, I kind of rolled my eyes. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's a better world now. I didn't really get 
at what Tom Taylor was hinting at, but by the end of the episode or this issue, I, I absolutely got it. I will give a little bit of precursor to, to, to get to my point to, to, cause he lays some foundation to where he finally unveils what his, his version of John Ken is going to be. We see that there is an enormous forest fires that are going on. John Kent, goes into, um, you know, to intervene, going to go save some people. And he realizes that the point of origin of the fire is a being of some sort that's under attack by, like, the military. They're firing on him. He goes there. It turns out it's a being. And according to the, to the precursor what we get there, we get here john ken has been noticing that you know the hottest day on record is becoming you know every week now i it's global warming you know we're getting these fires all the time global warming global warming that's certainly hinted at multiple times and that global warming is setting this character right here off to like ignite these enormous fires so this character being stressed is because of global warming that's why he's catching on fire he's becoming I don't know, hotter because they're shooting at him or whatnot. And John goes in, calms him down. Turns out if he hugs him and shows this character love, he will stop, uh, you know, emitting <laughs> high temperatures or whatnot, whatever. This really isn't the problem with the story. Although once he saves this character, he goes back to the military and he's like, he's not a problem now. You know, it's his stress levels. He's a little bit, um, you know, combustible, so to speak. And then as he goes off, he's going to go put out the rest of the forest fires, the military, uh, basically bang him over the head with the butt of a, of, a, of a rifle, knock him out. And John Kent goes to save him. And they're like, well, what are you going to do? And it turns out he gave him back. Terrible characterization on John, John Kent. He would not have given this character back to the military after they hit him in the head with the, with the stock of their gun. Just crazy characterization. Really shows a weak-willed character and certainly not very heroic. But this causes him to go talk to Damian Wayne, and then we really realize what's going through John Kent, not John Kent's head, what's going through Tom Taylor's head. And my good friend Doug Ernst in that conversation, and, I, and RJ touches on it as well, is he says, when you're writing superheroes, it will shine a mirror on yourself and what you really believe. And this is definitely what's happening here. We get in the conversation, John is conflicted. And they're fighting some ninjas because we're in the Robin story that that um, Joshua Williamson's doing. And Damien says, I get what's bugging, bugging you. There's nothing heroic about serving the status quo. I mean, there's a reason I'm a vigilante. And here's the key. Here's the key to what John Kent says. I don't want to put out fires and ignore the cause. He wants to make a better world by um, imparting his will on people which has never been something Superman has ever done. Superman goes out and saves people. He puts out fires. He'll even bring down a kitten from a tree. But there's certainly, it's heavily implied that the reason these fires, the ones that he's referring to right here in this panel, are happening is because of global warming. John Kent no longer wants to deal with the fires. He wants to deal with global warming himself, something that, that nations are, are dealing with. And people are dealing with of their own free will. This implies that the specter was absolutely correct, that John Kent is on the path to, to being a tyrant. What do tyrants do? They start taking away your per personal freedoms, you know, to serve the better, the greater good, right? And that is what is absolutely being hinted at here. It's crazy to think that Superman would ever do this. He's... He's never been just a passive bystander, obviously. He's been an active participant going out and saving people, but he's always left people to their free will to decide for themselves what they think is right. Even if it doesn't always, you know, serve his purpose, except for Dark Knight, you know, Returns, Red Sun, and Injustice. He no longer wants to... to save people he wants to, to address the causes of, of why these things are happening i.e social issues no longer he doesn't want to address crime anymore he wants to address uh, inequality he wants to address climate change he wants to address uh, you know the 
here he says the, the erosion of free press. Those words are from from uh, Damian Way. This is absolutely insane. This is a complete deviation of what Superman has always stood for. And certainly a John Kent raised by Clark Kent with the core principles that he holds would never say this or feel this way. That I no longer want to help people. I want to go out there and save the world, make a better world for everybody. Actively going out there and changing the way people live their lives changing the way that the world functions. And that's certainly the, the path that John Kent's headed down here. And you can see that if Tom Taylor were a superhero, he would himself would be a tyrant. You wouldn't be allowed to have free choice. You wouldn't be allowed to make decisions. He would want to go out there and get to the root cause and fix it for you by any means necessary, I imagine. Scary, scary stuff when you think about what's happening to John Kent here. Certainly not your grandfather's superhero, Superman, not your father's Superman. And likely, if you're an older reader, well, this is the first issue. This is nobody's Superman, unless you really like, you know, Red Sun. And it's, uh, it's scary stuff. It, it was certainly hinted at that that's the path that Clark Kent is doing in Superman and the Authority. Although that's supposed to be Elseworlds, right? Even though originally it was tying into 5G and... Superman is still going to War World. I don't even, can't even figure that one out. He also uses Damian Wayne as a mouthpiece. I, he does not get the Damian Wayne character at all. Damian Wayne is a know-it-all. He could solve every problem, just ask him. But he needs Damian Wayne to, to tell Superman the problems that he needs to fix. And I was kind of addressing that earlier. This is what Damian says. Exactly. But it's easy to punch a ninja. A little harder to punch the climate crisis, inequality, the erosion of free press, and the rise of demagogues. And that's what Tom Taylor and Damian Wayne think John Kent should be addressing. He shouldn't be out there saving people. He shouldn't be out there saving people from, from danger because that's not the reason that they're in danger. The reason these things are happening is because of the climate, cl climate crisis, inequality, the erosion of free press, and the rise of demagogues. Do you see it now? Do you see it now? The war on superheroes, the war on any type of uh, character expressing morality. Tom Taylor thinks that, that, the, um, that people should no longer have free will, that if he were a superhero, if he were John Kent, if he had those powers, he would go out there and he would fix it all. He would make a better world because truth, justice, and the American way, a.k.a. freedom, doesn't cut it anymore. You need to be an active participant. You need to go out there and you need to start changing everything because people got it wrong. It's a, definitely a departure. There's another thing that's hinted at multiple times in this comic book. When you think about John Kent and you read the Peter J. Tomasi you know, upbringing of John with his father Clark and his mother Lois, certainly Lois and Clark were both helping to influence their their son but clark had the most influence because they have similar power sets and he knows exactly what john is going through you know he, he's had to deal with all these things and he's imparting the knowledge and he's making it easier on his son it's not exactly as difficult as he had to go through uh the, the time that he had to go through when he was growing up at the beginning when we see the new origin of john kent when he was born which is slightly altered it's specifically mentioned that the four greatest heroes in the world are, are there when he was born. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Lois Lane. Now Lois Lane is considered a hero amongst the Trinity in DC Comics. That is crazy. Now certainly Lois Lane is a heroic figure. Is she a heroic figure on the level of, I don't know, Hal Jordan, Barry Allen, or a host of other heroes that we've seen in DC Comics? According to Tom Taylor, yes, she might as well be the Trinity. And when he's talking to Damien, he doesn't say you're the son of Clark Kent. He says, 
you're the son of Lois Lane. She's dedicated her life to exposing corruption and injustice. And of course, you should feel you should feel like you should do more. That's crazy. Journalism, at least in America, I think journalists journalists are the only people in America that are trusted less than members of Congress. Nobody in America, no matter what side of the, the, the aisle you're on, trusts journalists nowadays, which obviously is what Lois Lane is. And she's going to have just a much, as much of an influence, if not more, on the path that John Kent takes as a hero, i.e. becoming a tyrant. Can you imagine a journalist becoming a tyrant? Go read up on, go read up on the French Revolution. Maybe you can imagine journalists becoming tyrants. After you read that story, the actual history of it, she's going to be more influential in the development of John as his rise to power. Now, I imagine that Tom Taylor and writers of his ilk don't believe that what he's written here is the origin of a tyrant himself, but it's absolutely the case. He cannot see it. Like Doug Ernst said, he's putting a mirror to himself in the way that he's writing John Kent and the path that he's putting him down. He's going to become a tyrant. He's going to change the world through sheer will. It won't be through good gestures. It won't be through hero heroism. It won't be by portraying uh, good morals and having a, you know, a, a set of principles and sticking to them. It's going to be going out there and changing the way people are, are able to live their lives because it's no longer in vogue to save people from fires. There's a climate crisis that's causing those fires, and he needs to solve that too. And that is a man-made problem, right? Got to go out there and change the way men are acting, the way they believe by any means necessary. This is scary stuff. These are the way that they're portraying heroes now. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Tom Taylor doesn't even realize what he just did. He accidentally said it out loud. These guys don't realize how crazy some of these ideas are. That if you had the power of Superman, that you would take free will away from people. That you could actually go out there and, and uh, you know, or fix climate change. But that's, that's what uh, John Ken is going to be doing. He's no longer committed to freedom. And ensuring people are safe. He's committed to making a better world in the image of the however, however he believes, which appears is going to be much more influenced by Lois Lane than anybody else in his life. And we saw the last Lois Lane miniseries, right? She had the laptop with the stupid sticker on it. Very political sticker. I imagine he's going to be much more political as we move forward. And he will be a mouthpiece for for Tom Taylor until this you know the series goes away. I don't think this is going to last very long. I do think because you have John Kent and Damian Wayne here together, that some people aren't going to realize initially what they've just read and what's being implied here. But the uh, the shine will wear off. You know the Super Suns back together will wear off relatively fast, and people are going to you know he's not going to be able to help himself. That's the thing. Tom Taylor is not going to be able to uh, help himself. He will expose everything that he's going to try and do with the character. And, uh, you know, people will, will be running away from this title faster than you can absolutely, absolutely imagine. Definitely check out the um, the conversation with Doug Ernst and RJ from the Fourth Age tomorrow on the channel. First thing at 9 a.m. Eastern time, I think you're going to find that conversation illuminating. Had a great time. It's about an hour. I know that's a lot, a lot of your time. Obviously, that'll be up on the podcast with a few days after that. You know, the full one. If you can't put all your, if you don't have enough time to watch it on YouTube. But it's a new Superman. It's a dawn of a new Superman. He's going to make the world a better place. It's not by saving people. It's by getting to the root cause. And of course, the root cause are people, laws, the way governments run. And he's going to intervene and he's going to fix everything. He's going to become the tyrant that Mark Millar's Red Sun warned us about. It. He's going to be the, become the tyrant that we saw in Injustice that Tom Taylor himself has already written. And he's going to be the agent of change, representing a faction, an ideology within Western culture. And he's going to push that forward. And it's going to be under the guise of making a better world. No longer the American way. A better world for everybody.
just as long as John Kent and Tom Taylor agree with it. Can't make this shit up.